but as long as we are alive, we will see, we will continue seeing the, the impact. So um, that is uh, basically, and in between we'll have uh, our doctor to give us, you know, motivation, uh, kind of, you know, in reference to whatever we discuss. Um, so I think we have, um, So we have set uh, objectives. I, everyone has a thing, uh, the agenda plus the QR. The objectives on the on the, the, the agenda sheet we see as I say understanding the climate change what are the impacts of uh, the climate change in form of disasters uh, then we share experiences of course we represent various uh, you know diverse groups uh, from NGOs to government to, to you know to various ministries. Um, explore policy related. Uh, we have invited uh, uh, the Ministry uh, of Humanitarian and Environment so that we also uh, look at you know, what are the key policies they have and what are the key policy gaps that are there so that you know, together we will see. Um, explore funding, funding opportunities, financing, so together with the World Humanitarian Action and and uh, the humanitarian forum, slash government and the government and, and, and you guys, whether we look at this is the challenge we have, this is what we wanted to do, this is the finances we require, how do we lobby together, you know, the UN, the government, the Middle East, the, the UK or British or uh, the European government, US. So basically, this is uh, to set up the momentum for that. And then, uh, map action plan for common thinking and framework on the way forward. So by the end of today, inshallah, if all goes well, we wanted to have some tangible results that we'll keep on referring to, we'll keep on visiting until maybe we reach uh, where we wanted to go, or at least closer to where we wanted to go. So uh, those, are the, those are the key objectives. Um, now as a beginning, we say we wanted to do a quick baseline of uh, what uh, our understanding of the climate change because we are all from different or what are the levels of you know uh, understanding that we have and then that we will, will form you know as more of a, uh, a collective data or finding on the status of where we are as far as the climate change uh, uh, in Somalia is concerned so the effect of climate change in Somalia is concerned so we have uh, Peter, our ID has been collecting, uh, he has been adding on, uh, I hope everyone has WhatsApp. Yes, yeah, so he has been adding uh, your numbers into his uh, number so that he can be able to send you the link and then you can be able to do the, the, the survey. Then we'll do presentation of the survey, uh, share the key findings with you and um, So, um, so please share your number with Peter for those who are not, so that you uh, can you can add it, and then we can do a quick. Uh,
So then we can be able to do the survey quickly in five minutes there about, and then we will go. Okay, for the Wi-Fi, please use uh, Gobwin. Gobwin is much more, uh, the network is a bit slow, but the others uh, seem to be having issue with the password. So Gobwin is Suheiba at 2021. So we'll give you, uh, in between our sessions, we have, we have uh, collected some videos as far as this climate change is uh, some of the global uh, discussions, some of the you know, uh, feedback on the set. As we run video, make sure you take notes. We'll take and, uh, and bring it back home. So, how, for example, if they are saying you know, the temperature is increasing, are we feeling the same here? Or maybe Somalia is okay?
They're demanding climate justice and greater action for a low carbon future and a safe climate. This movement will continue to call on global leaders to build on the work started in Paris. You can be part of this movement. Become more. So we need, we need to be part of that movement. And that's why we say we need to be all together here, so that together we can be able to help the world and the Somali. Um, so I think we're also here quickly for a few minutes, each one, because we wanted to capture a small bit of it. There was a women that came before, and then there was COP25, which our friend here I was visited. There, yeah was there mm -hmm. and uh, so we just want to get 30 seconds of what this lady is telling us and then of course the next is COP26. Marathon UN climate talks in Madrid are coming to an end with agreement on some key points but will So it has been moved to, this was last year, now it has been moved to next year, which is this year. And as you have seen, there was no much agreement between the nations who have attended that conference. But the reason why maybe they have not agreed is countries like Somalia or Kenya or Ethiopia have not done their research, have not done their work well to go and present to this uh, government what the impact of climate change is in their country. Maybe they have like our director general went? No, I even me myself also I have. You went, okay, all right. Yeah, I mean, the director maybe I was doing for that. And mm -hmm. yet, uh, around 10 years I was petroleum mm -hmm. expert. Mm -hmm. That's why I saw it. Okay, you don't thank care. you. I, I, I there's, a lot of, there's a lot of questions that I want to ask for. Okay. 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 So I think, um, uh, I think the, the, the main, uh, let me interrupt you. The main, the main, that the world wasn't able to agree something on this was because of the developed countries. They don't want to pay the market share on the emissions and their hysteria. And the developing countries was uh, addressing on that. That's the main conflict between this, yeah? I want to win, right? So the more and more got in market share here, yeah. because here I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. The most developing countries are Somalia, the world that I am uh, under the problem of Africa and Manan. And the Bata Kais. So don't go to Bata Kais. Yeah. So basically, as, as, as we have heard, they didn't agree. Mm -hmm. Paris Agreement, you knew uh, America pulled out, <laughs> and they are the major contributor. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, challenges here and there. But uh, the people who suffer is us and some people. You know, some villagers in Belegwe who every year receive the, the, the flooding uh, from the Bashabele. So, but we need to, you know, create a momentum, as I said, and, you know, be part of this movement by presenting facts. This is what we are suffering from. This is what our community are suffering from. And, well, we may not have that impact as company or as Africa for that matter. But again, we want them to, when they pass through our diets, they see, okay, this is the dance of Somalia. People are suffering like this, there is this important. So we wanted, that is basically why we say, let's to, today gather here, discuss, agree, and see how we can be able to go or send delegates to 20, 26, 26, and see if, again, the world, you know, the, the, the big person always have the power to say, to dismiss, and this thing happened. But we want to play our part. That is, I think, uh, the message you wanted to get. Yes. So, any reaction? Before? Has, it, has everyone put the link? Yeah. The link on the WhatsApp. Thank you very much. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it's good. Welcome. This one. 
compromise and want to do for it. But just uh, maybe the, 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 the possibility of the. Uh, well, mine is mine. Yeah. Yeah. Speak mine. Yeah. Don't worry about That's why you know it's very important. How the people or participated understanding the advantage of this change. You must be slowly to tell it step by step. You do the honor. Even the mind concept they are called the teaching forms. Okay, the correct um around 20 something years before I made research. And um, the local government when it was broken out, I was working in civil aviation at that time in Mogadishu. From that to this time, when I go somewhere in Asia and some African countries, I met to research in violent change, climate change. So I do the scientific things, so I do the job. And to have come physically, you understand? I so then I think that the history of Somali, or the environmental or climatological, or even also so erotical, I have a lot of concepts, which is easy to tell with you within one hour. I don't need to look for someone's website or something like that. I write book is also. You understand me? Yes. Otherwise, so let's yeah, let it be hand by the knowledge who has. That's 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 point. Otherwise, so Again, I don't like to be take more of this. I have what I do. It means uh, this mind change. It means a part of in the metrology. The future of metrology. How can we make metrology? Metrology was a lot of work. A lot of time, a lot of work. We have a lot of work. We have a lot of metrology. In the last, a lot of work. We have a lot of metrology. We have a scientific metrology of the ground. We have a lot of work. And uh, 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 u
اكروميتولوجي واو كيف تتكلموا عن السنه 2020 اكروميتولوجي وقبل هذا السؤال سعيد سيدي سامر سيتويشن اوف الساعه انا انا ذاك بالنسبه للبيبي بارك بارك الحاس Before Must be precipitated on the sun by cram variability. Observation after that becomes by cram variability. You know? Check for it. That's why it's all about that. Okay, so uh, thank you for your, your insights. But hopefully, some of the questions you have will be able to answer. But as I say, we want you to think what, the, what is out there in global. Because whatever we discuss here, They discuss in Paris Agreement, which is global. They discuss in COP25, global. But here we want to know, as you say, what is actually the local population. So together with you, yes. So um, we have set up some outcome that we wanted to achieve on this today workshop. Um, the first one is, what are the key messages? Like, the information is sharing with us. So what are the key messages is, that is coming from this? Uh, inform us, the government, to have a complete report that says this is the state of the workshop and what we gathered. Um, then, once we get this information, how are we going to contribute to a higher level? Higher level, which is now this, this corps and you know. The one I think there's also another one for Africa taking place in Uganda in April. So you know the various civil society and how do we have a one cohesive message, one message that if we give out to say to European Union, they will listen to us. Um, then report from this workshop. This means we are having similar workshop in Ethiopia and in other places. So reports of this workshop we will combine and then we'll be able to share as a regional related you know, report that is not only is what came out of Somalia, what came out of Kenya, what came out of Ethiopia, and this is the synthesis of the same report, this is the similarities, these are the differences, this is the level Somalia is, this is the level Kenya is, the level, you know, in terms of, in terms of that. And then, uh, hopefully we'll be able to share a way and again, a way forward as a region that we'll be able to say donors and, and, uh, and other groups. Because as we have just been sharing, we, we, um, just to understand what are the climate we share with you. And then we'll be able to, we'll be able to see, and then we we'll move on. So that is, you know, we don't want to go further away from the local. At the same time, we wanted to be the link between the global level. That's why we, we, we are here. Any question? Uh, I just want to share with you your comments. Yes. Uh, I just came back from uh, Geneva. From Geneva? Yes. This is a connection and a material analysis.